So I'm all bundled up. Um, I just came in from the cold because I was spray painting my wings. So while I wait for those to dry, I'm going to show you how to make the two options for attaching your wings. For option two, you're going to follow all the steps in option one, except for the very last one, where you will learn how to attach the wings onto this belted harness that I'm wearing. So make sure you have all the materials that you need. If you're doing option two, you'll need all the materials from option one, plus those two belts, right? Um, for the first option, you will need some elastic, um, scissors, your hot glue gun and some hot glue, some felt. You got these for, I think, 59 cents each. And they also have some with embellishments and like glitter and stuff for 99 cents, but you will need two of those. And some feathers. I got these at Michael's for I think $1.99. Just a small package of them, you're not gonna need that many. Now the elastic I have is black. I have this huge bolt that I've been using for pretty much every project, trying to get rid of it. I'd suggest using white elastic or if you go to like Joann's or one of your like local uh, fabric places and you find some elastic that has a cool color or a little bit more detail to it, just as long as you have enough to wrap around your arms and across your back. So that's a pretty safe measurement. Let's do it. We're going to need two belts. I got these at the thrift store for I think two dollars and a dollar. Um, they can be any style or any shape. The most important thing is that one needs to be fairly thick. This is the one that's going to go underneath here. And then the second one should be somewhat thinner because it's going to go behind your neck and you might want to take into account like what kind of buckle it has how it's gonna look when it's attached because this part is gonna show and I like that this is nice and flat and I can glue whatever I want on here and some sort of fabric that you can cut into strips I'm using some gauze that I had left over from a previous project you could use lace or whatever remnant fabric you have even cotton I'm now taking my piece of felt and folding it in half and cutting it down the shortest side. Then I will take one of those pieces, cut it in half, and end up with a piece that's three inches by five inches. If you're working from a larger piece of fabric and you didn't get one of the sheets like I have, just for your reference, this piece is about nine inches long, or nine inches wide and six inches long. So if you have a piece that's about nine by six, doesn't have to be exact. So if this is my center, about an inch over here, an inch over there, I'm gonna glue my elastic there and there. And I'm making sure that the elastic is centered this way as well. So making sure that that is right in the center. Now I'm going to take the wing that belongs on the right side and I'm going to position it right in the center and right on top of where that um, piece of elastic is. Part of the reason why I did these curly cues is so that when I hot glue it, I'm gonna fold this over and it won't be easy to pull the wing out. So I'm just, it's just a little extra bit of, of security to fold those wires in. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other wing. So now the space in between your wings should look like this. So, and this is a little bit hard to do without bumping the camera, so bear with me. We're going to take this little piece, the one that we cut in half and in half again. It's about three by five inches. So once that dries, you have something that looks like this when it opens up. Not very pretty. This is where your feathers come in. Now this part's optional, but it does make your wings look a lot better. I'm just cutting the edges of the felt at an angle, avoiding the wires and definitely avoiding that elastic so the felt doesn't look like a big square. 
Now, you also want to take this opportunity to check for any parts where your felt might be peeling up and really hot glue those down. Smear it as much as possible. Use a piece of card or felt to protect your fingers. And you can put some hot glue around the edges and smear it down just to make sure that that felt won't peel up. Now when you apply your feathers, I would suggest cutting them in half so that you're only using the fluffiest parts. To make it look the most natural, I would start from the center and glue your feathers on as if they were growing out from the center of your back. You should have more feathers than you really need, so don't be afraid to double layer them. Um, once you've positioned the ones that are growing from the center of your back, you might want to add a few more on top that are going in different directions. Just whatever looks the most interesting and natural to you. Also make sure that you are covering that junction right there where the felt ends and where the wing begins. This will also help to cover any elastic that might be showing, any wire that might be showing, um, or any glue that doesn't look so good. Now I'm picking feathers that have a little bit of a curve here because that just seems the most natural to me, but you can really, you really can't go wrong with this, so just layer them up. You'll want to do the same thing to the side of your wing. First, make sure that the felt is securely glued down. You can always cut it back if it's going up too far on the wing, but you want to make sure that that edge cannot peel back, so give it a little bead of glue to hold that down. And then you can cut more of your feathers in half and make sure you're using the fluffiest parts to cover up that felt. And again, you can layer them up. You can use your glue to, um, if there's like, you know, the, the hard part, I can't remember what it's called, the center part of the, the feather, you can use your glue to uh, make sure that that doesn't stick you in the back. And then you can turn some feathers in the other direction to cover all of that up. And the last thing you'll want to do is to figure out how tight you want your arm elastics to be and give this a tie. I'm just giving it a very loose double knot so that I can try it on first and make sure that it's not too loose or too tight and then I can adjust it. If you like the way that your wings fit, you can use your gauze or scrap fabric, whatever you have set aside, to wrap around the elastic and cover up the part where you've tied it together, just to give it a more finished look. And that's the basic attachment. Keep watching to see how to add the harness. The first thing you're going to do is take the thicker belt and you're going to put it very, very high up on your waist, like just underneath your chest. Now is the time to decide how tight or loose you want the belt to feel once you've adjusted it to where it's comfortable for you. You can then take your second belt and hook it around your neck and figure out where you want that to hit the belt that's underneath your chest. So you could have it come down in the front or it could go around to the back, almost like a, more like a, a shoulder holster, I guess. Or I'm going to have mine just on the outside of my chest. That's just the part that's the most comfortable for me. And the best way to mark that is to take just a couple pieces of masking tape, figure out where you want your belts to connect, and then just stick the tape down so that way when you take it off you won't lose your spot. Now my belt was just long enough to connect. You want to try to get a long enough belt because if it's too short it won't work. I cut off the end, uh, the part that actually holds the belt buckle, and now I'm ready to attach the two pieces. This is a tool that is used for punching holes in thick material like leather. It can be used to make an extra hole in your belt, and it also has a setting 
for setting um, snaps. If it's something that you have, then great. If not, you can always punch a hole in your belt with a pair of scissors. Just be very, 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 very careful when doing that. Um, you know, you don't want to accidentally hurt yourself. So it's just one of those things where you have to be kind of careful um, if you don't have the right tool. But if you do, then this will come in handy. You only need a really small hole. And now I'm going to take my wire that I used to make the wings and I'm going to measure about five or six inches and I'm going to cut two pieces of the wire. And now I've got my belt and here's the masking tape where I decided the other belt is going to attach and I'm going to use my wire to secure that. So here's the good looking side of the bottom belt, good looking side of the top belt. And you can actually leave your masking tape there. You don't have to move it because you're just going to cover it. Luckily, because this belt is made the way it is, I don't have to punch a hole in that. I can just stick my wire through the hole that I punched and then stick that through the other belt. You want to make sure that as you're doing this, you keep the belt flat. You don't want to accidentally put a twist in it at this point because that will be very uncomfortable on your neck. Now, not only might you have a piece of wire that's going to dig into your skin, but also this could very easily be pulled if you yank on it hard enough. So now I'm going to take my gauze and I'm just going to cut just enough to kind of wrap around and you can always add more if you have enough material and I'm just gonna tie this in a knot so now would be a good time to take your hot glue gun and just put a little dab of hot glue on the edge of that wire that way you've got a bit of protection between the wire and your skin the reason why I'm not hot gluing these belts together is because hot glue absolutely won't work on this. The tiniest tug and it's going to rip apart, so it's better to just use wire and be safe. Now once the hot glue has dried, I'm going to take my gauze and I'm just going to start to wrap it around all kinds of ways. And when I think that that looks okay enough, I can just kind of tie it around itself. This does not have to be super pretty at all. You can make a knot. And whatever extra you have, just cut it off. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So now you have something that looks like this and goes on. I don't love the way that the fabric looks by itself, so I'm using feathers to cover it up and make it look nice. Okay. Hopefully this is a good enough angle for you to see what I'm about to do. So I've got the harness laid out with the good side facing up, and here's the part that's going to go around the back of your neck. Now. If you followed all the steps for option one, you would have a pair of wings that kind of looks like this on the inside. And instead of tying them like that, you're going to flip the wings over like this. Make sure that this is centered according to your tape. And you're gonna tie them on. Don't double knot it because you might need to check and see if this is exactly where you want them. Just a single knot. So from inside, it should look... Oops. Just backed into the wall. <laughs> from the inside, it should look like this. So you just tied on your top two pieces. Yeah, and then your bottom pieces are still dangling. So now's a good time to put your wings on 
and make sure that they are at the right height for you. I did like where the wings fell on my back, so I'm going to double knot those top elastics and single knot the bottom ones so I can try the wings on again and make sure they're correct before I double knot the bottom elastics. Now that everything's been double knotted, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did when I attached my two belts together. I'm wrapping each junction with gauze and just gluing feathers to hide the way that that fabric looks. Make sure that you keep the glue on the belt. You don't want to put too much glue on your elastic because it might compromise the plastic inside the elastic and make it not stretch. Now, because my belt has this type of attachment, I have a couple of options. Um, I might just fold it back on itself and just kind of leave it like that. You can always save a few of your feathers. You will definitely have a lot of these left. And you can attach them here if you don't love the way that your belt buckle looks. You can always add some beautiful flowers or maybe drape some fabric down the front of it. Um, the options are pretty endless, but just keep in mind when you're picking out your belts that you might want this to be something that's more interesting or something that goes with another part of your costume. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to ask any questions that you may have, and please follow the links for even more information. Please subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for even more costume and decor DIYs. Thanks again.